Um, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh everyone um, Hi, how are you? I'm hoping everyone is doing well Feeling a lot better compared to last week So since most of you went back And only a few of you came to school So what we did last week is an experiment all right? So you have learned about um, respiration that happens in the lungs but then I'm going to show you how are we going to compare the composition of the inhale and exhale air. We did this experiment. Um, so this experiment is experiment wajib. So this is what you are supposed to do last week. Only if you came. So, uh, so the first experiment is to, uh, to study the difference in the oxygen content in inhale air and exhale air. What you need in this experiment are candles, plasticine, matches. So you all have it here. You have the candle over here, the plasticine, uh, some matches, rubber bands. Okay, rubber bands that I already put on the gas jar. Um, and you need a glass trough. Uh, let, actually you need only one but I use two glass trough um, and some tubes rubber tube and the candle stand over there I have two candle stand there right so what you need to do first is to divide the gas jar into ten equal parts one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then you need to light up the candle and insert the gas jar containing the inhale air into the candle. Right, so I will light the candle and invert the gas jar that contains an inhale air into the candle. Since the inhale air is the same as the air that we breathe in that surround us, so we just collect the air around us and just invert them into the onto the candle you will see the water level are increasing up to the second level and the flame goes out as well so it means the candle already use up all of the oxygen that are present in the inhale air so as you can see here the water level is up to two parts 2 over 10 so that means the air actually the inhaled air contain 20% about 20% of oxygen then uh, I'm gonna repeat the experiment by using exhale air collecting the exhale air is quite tricky so what I did was I fill the gas jar full with water and I cover it with a glass cover like that all right and then I invert it into the water immediately into the water like that all right check out the gas uh, the glass cover and I will put it underneath uh, sorry on top of the tube so what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow exhale air through the uh, rubber tube so the exhale air will fill the gas jar so it's, a, it's just about a water displacement method so the air that I blow in will displace the water out alright so I'm just going to blow So that's it. The, the gas jar is already filled with um, exhale, uh, exhale air, right? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this one out, right? So I'm going to light up the candle again to test the oxygen level of the exhale air. Right. So I'm going to carefully 
cover this one up okay and take it out I should remove the water out all right okay and I will carefully carefully invert it on into the candle so you can see the water is rising up uh, the water rises about just a little bit higher than the first level it's about one and a half one and a half something like that so the ex exhale air contain about 15 percent of oxygen all right that's all for today for the first experiment to determine the composition of oxygen in inhale air and then exhale air